So I've been filling in with more interesting things. This, people probably thought it was dead, and now at this stage, I think it is. Um, it was a Circus Canadensis redbud that I got, like it was a Charlie Bounds Christmas tree. They could never have sold it. Um, and every year I think it's dead, and every year I'm surprised when it's not. A week ago, I saw life. I mean, there's green. Pray for it, we'll see. Um, just filling in with more and more interesting things, native ferns, some hostas, which aren't so native, sorry about that. The view down that way is pretty good, don't you think? Yeah. Even my truck, which was not there on the day. And then, so you would have come right back up here to what we fondly call the basketball court, because it almost certainly was a basketball court. The Moon family had six children who lived in this house, and it's the perfect, it's the perfect place for a basketball court, right here. But we made it, I just covered it up with gravel, and oh, this is my great-great-grandfather's urn. It's wonderful. And I got a great, great big fat palm to put in it. All right, we're on the last leg. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so on this path, people would have thought, this is pathetic grass. Well, it's actually not grass. I mean, it's it's Carex, which is a type of grass. It's the Carex Pennsylvanica. And so I've been feeding it all along here. Ginny, is it so sad that it's not grass? Why are you crying? It's, um, it's a native and it looks almost as good as grass. And so I think it's a great use of that product here. Oh, this is a funny little thing. So, you know, tulip poplar self-seed and I tortured this one and I'm braiding it up and it's just saying, hi, it's, it's a mom and pop situation. No, it's a mother son situation. It's, it, it is what it is. All right, so come up this way. All new azaleas, you know, if I had it to do over again, they'd be native, but they're better than what was there. I made this silly little staircase and come see my Zen garden. So this was the one that I had the materials for and I just happened to start making it on January 6th, which was a great day to not be watching the news. And I've got some black Mondo grass in it and I've tortured the heck out of this um, Japanese holly. And it's looking out over my biggest plant. And I think it's kind of good, I think. Oh, here, now not one of these was blooming last Sunday. This is the iris tectorum, and it's a really cool, different type of iris. So I'll say that again, iris tectorum, and they come in blue or white. I think that's it. But it spreads really easily, and um, it, it can bloom in shade. And also, although the everything's so bright green at this time of year, but when summer comes, that foliage looks much brighter green. It's like a lime green foliage. And here, the last thing that I'll show you is my little collection of more tortured boxwoods. The poor guys. All right, just keep coming for a few more steps. Come on, Jim. Come on, what are you doing? So this was it, and I'm really glad that you had the patience, if you're still watching, to see it. I, like I said, I wanted to do this for me, because gardens change all the time, and this garden will never be the same. And so thank you for coming into the garden with me.